Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving equations. This time we'll take up exponential equations. The idea is to help students who are taking tests like SAT and similar exams. So we have another set of three multiple choice questions based on exponential equations. You need to pause the video, copy questions, answer and then look into my suggestions. So we'll also show you short tricks to do these questions. However, you should understand the method first. The very first question here is, if 1 over 9 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 27 to the power of 3 minus x, find the value of 2x minus 1. Now remember, you have to find value of 2x minus 1. So all these solutions correspond to 2x minus 1. Twice the answer of x, take away 1, correct? So if I write 19 here, so it means uh, what is the x value? Not 19, not 18, right? So think about this. So x probably is 10. So 10 times 2, 20 minus 1 is what is given. So if you do trial and error, which could be first option, which is trial with the values, in that case, what values should you try? The values which you should try will be, you have to add 1 and then do half of this, reverse operation to find x, right? So this is 10, this is 5, this is 3, and uh, if you are to add, you get 2.5 here. Okay, so these are the values to be tried if you really want to try. So these are x values. So that's the first step. However, don't waste time in all this, but follow method. So what is the method here? We have to have common base. So 3 seems to be a good combination. We know 3 square is 9, and we also know that 3 cube is 27. So that gives you the common base, correct? And if it is 1 over 9, definitely it is 3 to the power of minus 2, which is 1 over 9, correct? So with that, you can make a substitution and solve. Does it make sense to you? So this is your method. So understand, you have to have a common base to solve such equations. So let's rewrite our equation. 1 over 9 I'm writing as 1 over, let me write this as 1 over 3 square first for the benefit of most students. And we have x minus 2. And then we have 27 is 3 cubed, 27 to the power of 3 minus x. Now clearly this gives you 3 to the power of minus. Let's go one more step. 3 to the power of minus 2, x minus 2 equals to 3 to the power of, well, multiply, right? So we get 9 minus 3x. Here also we should multiply, right? So if you do that, we get 3 to the power of what? Minus 2x plus 4 equals to 3 to the power of 9 minus 3x. Now that gives you a linear equation, which is minus 2x plus 4 equals to 9 minus 3x bring the x terms together. So we have 3x minus 2x equals to 9 minus 4. And that gives you x as equals to 9 minus 4 is 5. Perfect. So 9 minus 4 is 5. You know the solution is b since we want to find what is 2x minus 1. Substitute 5 here. 2 times 5 minus 1, which is 10 minus 1 which is 9, right? So that is how you're going to get the solution. So I hope that works. So even if you have spent some time in finding the value of x that way, at the end, it pays off, correct? Once you get 5, you know what to select. Anyway, recently we have seen that direct substitution is not the best way of solving, so learn the methods. Now here is second practice example on exponential equations. If 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 plus 9 to the power of x minus 28 equals to 0, find the value of x minus 1 whole square. So increasingly we notice that they are not saying find the value of x. They want to know something else. So therefore, 
you should simplify the equations and find the solution, right? So let's begin. So we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3. 9 could be written as 3 squares. So we get 3 to the power of 2x and we'll take 28 to the other side. That's the first step. Now this really means that it's 3 to the power of 2x times 3 cube. That's what it means, right? So uh, I'm just rewriting this. Now 3 to the power of 2x is common factor. So I'm writing 3 to the power of 2x as a common factor. So we get 3 cube plus 1 equals to 28. Now 3 to the power of 2x. Now this is times 27 plus 1, which is also 28, correct? Or you could say 3 to the power of 2x times 28 equals to 28, or 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 1, correct? Now when is that possible? When is 3 to the power of 2x equals to 1? Clearly 2x should be 0, right? So this is possible when so 3 to the power of 2x equals to 1 means it is 3 to the power of 0. Important, right? So 2x should be equal to 0 or x is equal to 0. Now if x is 0, then what you need to find is x minus 1 whole square. Remember that. So we have 0 minus 1 whole square, which is positive 1. So option B is the right option. So I hope all these steps are clear. So that is how you should be solving them. So learn the techniques. Now let's move on to the next question, which is similar kind, uh, this time with powers of 2. And I'd like you to pause the video and take this as a practice test question. Again, you need to find x squared minus 1 after solving the equation. Query. So let's begin. We have 2 to the power of x plus 2 really means 2 to the power of x times 2 squared. Is that clear? minus 2 to the power of x, take 1 to the other side, we get 95 plus 1. Now 2 to the power of x is common. We get here 2 square which is 4 minus 1 equals to 96. See how I am cutting down on steps and getting the result very fast. So we get 2 to the power of x equals to 96 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3, right, which is 32. Now we could write 2 to the power of x as equals to 32 is 2 to the power of 5 and so we know x is equal to 5. Does it make sense? What you need to find is x square minus 1. So that is 5 square minus 1 which is 25 minus 1 or 24. Option B is the right option. So I hope with this you have learned couple of things. First, very important that substitution could be a possibility, but look for this type of thing. If you have this, try to solve. It is better, right? If you want to find only x, substitution is better. So, but recently I've seen most test papers have that kind of result. So learn how to solve efficiently and that is the best method. So this is the best method to follow. So I hope you understand and appreciate what we have done. If you feel good about it, uh, you should definitely like my videos and subscribe to them. So this is what I say is probably the shortest way of solving such questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.